Strap in for the world's fastest half hour. You're on the straight line, presented by O'Reilly Auto Parts. And brought to you by Hercules Tires and Drunk Style Apparel. Now, here are your hosts, Doug Herbert and Marty Huff. This is the straight line on drag racing. Thanks for stopping by our half hour of horsepower. Appreciate you being with us. Top fuel winner from the weekend, Steve Torrance stops by and we'll get a feel for New England Dragway's two straight sellouts. The Motor Racing Network's own Kyle Rickey. We're in the beams and set to launch another edition of the straight line. Wherever you may be, coast to coast, around the world, this is the Straight Line on Drag Racing here on MRN.com. Along with four-time IHRA Top Fuel Champion and ten-time NHRA National Event winner Doug Herbert, I am Marty Huff and the New England Nationals in the books at Epping, New Hampshire. And it was an epic weekend up in New England. Doug, two straight sellouts on yeah. Saturday and Sunday. I mean, we may see a sellout from time to time on the NHRA Tour, and it's really good to see that. Usually just one during a week, and either a Saturday or a Sunday, but two straight. I haven't seen that in a long time. And when we talked last week, you said people up in New England, they love their drag racing, yeah. and man, they proved it. Well, I've been ra I've raced at that track for a long time, and we've had some sellouts uh, you yeah. know, over the years there. It's a, it's a neat place. It's close to Boston. It's kind of you know, up there in that northeast area where they're, you know, they're dying for their drag racing, yeah. and they love it. Uh, so I'm not too surprised to see the sellout crowds, but hey, to have two sellout crowds in a weekend is a great, it's, it's just a great news for NHRA, yeah, right. uh, any way you put it. Yeah, and uh, really good timing for NHRA is uh, they went live on Sunday on Fox Sports 1 all the way through, and to have a sellout on national te television live it's pretty good timing. It worked out really well. Uh, coming up, we'll talk to Steve Torrance about his top fuel win. But uh, also, big congratulations to Matt Hagen and Chris McGahey. Talked to Matt Hagen last week, and he said, coming up at Denver, we're debuting a new car. Ah, I don't know about you. But if I win two straight... <laughs> this car I have is looking you, okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, what are you thinking? I, I, I mean, and I understand, this is a, this is a Dodge deal. Um, it, because well, and Denver is the you it, know Denver's their big race correct. for for Dodge Mopar and all that. So yeah. I don't know. I'm not that surprised. Uh, and you know, as we've talked to him before, they they felt like their aerodynamics were a little behind. The body design was a little bit behind. So now they're going to get something uh, that's maybe as good as you know the other teams supposedly had. Maybe they felt like they were a little disadvantaged. But I'm with you. Yeah. If I'm Hagen, <laughs> hey, what we have is working just fine. Yeah. So I don't know if I want to mess yeah. that up. But going back yeah. to back and winning his third race of the year, not too bad. Yeah, uh, and if they got a pretty good backup right now in the trailer. Let's just put it that way. Uh, Chris McGahey, winner in um, in Pro Stock, and I wanted to ask you about this because sometimes you go out and you're low ET, top speed, you're on the pole, and you just go out there and whip them. Yeah. And then there are other that weekends. What <laughs> That's yeah, yeah, not yeah. what happened. He he was the most surprised guy on the property that he actually won. He said, hey, you know, on Friday, I was ready to roll up the awning and get the trailer and just get out of here because we were just that embarrassed. So you, you've won races like that. I mean, what are you thinking going into eliminations when you're you're just going rounds and you're thinking, man, if, if we're getting away with one here. Well, you just want to, you know, uh, you go behind a dump truck and they just beep, <laughs> beep, beep. They just back up. That's what you feel like. I, oh, my gosh, yeah. we're the luckiest people that there are. But you know what? When you're at the right place at the right time yeah. and your car's running decent because you never ran, you know, it wasn't. But you know, it wasn't uh, well, he wasn't horrible, right? He wasn't. It wasn't horrible. I mean, he you know he definitely got lucky in the semis there uh, versus Kenny Delco because he didn't go down the track. But right. in general, I mean, his car runs pretty well, so he was at the right place at the right time. And sometimes, you know, breaks just happen, and that was pretty much what happened, I think, with Chris McGahey. And I don't think that he would argue that point. Yeah, and the beauty of drag racing. I mean, sometimes you could have the second lowest ET of a round. Yeah. And be going home, and then in other days, I mean, you can't get out of your own way, and you're putting on red, you're That's putting right. on wind lights. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, just drag racing. It's real simple, right? We're gonna we're gonna start here, and we're gonna race down there. Who never gets their first wins? Well, the guy you're racing might be really fast, and like you said, you're the second quickest guy that there is, and you go home, or you might be 
the slowest guy on the property, but the guy next to your red lights, and you still win. Yeah. So you just never know. But hey, when you're at the right place at the right time, you get a win. When the, I've heard AJ Foyt say it a bunch of times, hey, just check the record books because yeah. <laughs> the win is a win, you know, and that's, that's right. the fact. I yep. mean, a win is a win. It doesn't matter how you got it. Yep, and uh, sometimes better lucky than good, but uh, you know, sometimes you you uh, trade that luck in because sometimes you get really unlucky <laughs> and uh, if, and if go home with your tail between your legs, and then some days uh, you just can't do anything wrong, and that's exactly what Chris McGehey did this past weekend at uh, Epping, New Hampshire. When we return, we'll talk to the top fuel winner at Epping, Steve Torrance. Will join us next. <laughs> Defend your vehicle from harmful elements and restore shine with Armor All Canister Wipes. Right now at O'Reilly Auto Parts, pick up two Armor All Canister Wipes for $8. Easily remove dirt, dust, and grime with Armor All Canister Wipes. Buy two for $8 at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. MRN.com. Original online audio, video, and digital content. Need the latest information on each week's races? Check out the MRN.com race center. Need to find your local radio station for MRN original programs? And Camping World Truck, Xfinity, and Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series races? Go to stations on MRN.com. All the latest NASCAR news and opinion pieces, race schedules, driver standings, and archives of MRN programs, MRN race broadcasts, and so much more. MRN.com. MRN original programs stream on MRN.com. Check out NASCAR drivers on Motorsports Monday with Woody Kane and Joey Wing Meyer. Sprint car racing on Wing Nation with Steve Post and Aaron Everton. Meet NASCAR team crews on Crew Call with Sammy Joe and Rocco. NASCAR local and regional racing on NASCAR Coast to Coast with Kyle Rickey and Hannah Newhouse. NHRA talk on the straight line with Marty Huff and Doug Herbert. Your home for original motorsports talk. MRN.com. Welcome back to The Straight Line, brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Here's more with Marty Huff and Doug Herbert. Appreciate you being on MRN.com. This is The Straight Line. Joining us right now on the Racing Electronics Hotline is the winner of the Top Fuel Division, the New England Nationals, Epping, New Hampshire this weekend. Steve Torrance joins us. Steve, thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. Congratulations on the win. Hey, thank you guys very much. I appreciate you having me on. Steve, five wins this year, man. You guys, you know, you, you were so strong last year, and then at the end of the year you had the little, uh, you know, the uh, I don't know what happened, some some messed up on your car there at, at, uh, at the Motorplex, and it kind of messed you up for the last couple of races. But you had the best car all year last year, and you guys haven't slacked off any this year with five wins, and just incredible. You know, it's been, it's been really an unbelievable last, year and a half so far um and and i and i'm really proud to see it more so this year than even last year because last year you know we went out we had a really good car we were i, I would say had put on a pretty dominating performance we had that yep. tire failure in dallas and and wrecked and just weren't able to get back on our feet in time but to to be able to come out this year and 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 go back on the same road that we were on you know pick up where we left off and 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 keep going and marching forward that that makes you proud as 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 a driver and as part of a team just to say that you know we, we ain't just a flash in the pan these boys are real deals and and we're out here we're, we're doing everything we can to to make our mark and and have the best shot at, at winning a championship and a really hot racetrack this weekend at epping but what uh, where the proof is is that you guys were on the consistent side of everything when it's really hard to get down a racetrack that that's that's hot um, if, to show that uh, your your runs 84 87 and a, and a 90 in the final I mean that's really consistent it shows the, uh, the quality of car that you're putting down the racetrack every week you know that just is a testament to Richard Hogan Bobby Legan those guys are making the right calls. They're making the right decisions on the tune-up when they need to, um, and they've been able to adapt. We we do have, you know, some some differences in track prep that have thrown everybody a little bit of a curveball. And I mean, it's been it's been hard for my guys to figure out. We've had quite a bit of carnage. We've blowed up a lot more stuff than in, than any year in the past. So uh, it's been a definite steep learning curve. 
but I think those guys have done really well. We went in there with a completely different mindset, a completely different setup on everything, and it they just hit the nail on the head. And so we were able to carry that information through through to Sunday, and and it parlayed into a victory. And it was just just what you said, the the uh, the consistency factor. Well, absolutely consistent, and with low ET of every round, like you said, Richard Hogan and Bobby Lagana Jr. did a great job. And then uh, I know Bobby for years. I've seen him up there with his dad, and he obviously very familiar with that racetrack. And uh, I, I think it's probably neat for him to to feel like. I, I mean, I guess English Town was probably his hometown track, but that's pretty close to his hometown track. So that had to be a, a really neat thing for your whole team getting that win at that track with low ET every round. Yeah, it was, you know, and and I typically go back when we get home and watch watch some of the race coverage, and and I was able to see Bobby pulled out a, a picture of his mom and his dad that he carries around with him in his pocket every day, and um, he showed that to the to the camera after we won the race, and that that just kind of chokes you up a little bit because I mean we're such a close knit group and. We run that team like a family, and, and Bob's mom and dad aren't there anymore, but that's where he started racing. And to, to be able to pull off a win at, at him and Dom's, what you would consider home track now, that was, yeah. that was real special for him and, and for everybody involved. Yeah, and, and speaking of which, um, Bobby Lagana was having a, a good time in victory lane. As a matter of fact, he uh, kind of went a little Joe Amato uh, on, on everybody. And, uh, and pulled down his pants, and we've got the picture on uh, on the screen right now. Uh, didn't uh, exactly have Snoopy underwear there, but uh, uh, advertising his, his favorite beverage there uh, of, of, on the drawers. Uh, did you were you expecting that? Man, I'll tell you the truth. Those guys give me so much crap because I drink natural light. It's, <laughs> I mean, it, you know. They think, man, that's the cheapest beer. Why you drink that? Da 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 da. And I said, well, heck, I just kind of like the taste of it, and it's not real strong, so I can drink a couple beers with you guys and not get all tuned up. But <laughs> the uh, the 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 boxers, I had no clue those were coming out. He made sure to grab me, go over, and, and said, we got to take a picture. And he started unbuckling his pants, and I kind of got a little nervous there. <laughs> so then. Then he threw them down there and they had natural light boxers on. I thought, oh, no, man. This is, <laughs> this is so far from any kind of corporate sponsorship deal that, we, that anybody would let, it get, let us get away with this. I'm glad that Capco is, is, is owned by my family because maybe they'll be proud of us because I don't know if anybody else is. <laughs> hey, Steve, it's a little ways to go before the end of the year, but you guys have a pretty strong points lead with almost 10 rounds ahead of, your, of, the, of the second place car what uh you you know what it's taken to get there what's it going to take to continue on with that momentum for the rest of the year with your guys and, and your team and just doing what you're doing well it's it's just that continue to move forward and do what we're doing um you know i think it's like anything you just got to keep your head down and keep marching forward and keep pushing forward and and do what got us to this point because um all these points those 10 rounds they're going to go to one at uh at indy and you just got to remember that and and race smart i don't think that we do anything different than what we did last year i think we were on the right track last year we just had a a very unfortunate accident that that took us out of contention and allowed some of those back runners to come to the front um you know it's it's just it's just the way that nhra's got it set up and and we gotta we gotta play by their game because there's nowhere else to race but uh, we just do what we do and keep moving forward and try to try to finish as strong as possible. Headed to Denver, uh, this is a completely different animal than anything that we have on tour. Uh, your thoughts about headed to Bandemir? You know, I'm excited to go there. Um, it seems we've we've only won once there, but we seem to have a really good setup uh, that we we pull on and off the shelf once a year to go there. And, and Richard has run well there we've run uh i don't know if we still have the the track record or not but i know we've run pretty strong there quite a few times and it's just one of those things when you happen upon a setup for that place and you, you hold on to it until you got to change it and and I, I think that we've got a pretty good one right now i'm excited about going there and it's a fun place to go to go to red rocks and 
go mountain biking and all that and just see how bad out of shape you are when you're driving <laughs> around a mile high in the air. <laughs> it's real easy to get out and win there, I'll tell you. I know yeah. that for sure. Hey, Steve Torrance, congratulations on the win. You're fifth of the year. Uh, great job for you. You're Richard Hogan, Bobby Lagana, your entire team. Good luck on your way going to Denver, and uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll be talking to you again before the end of this year. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it, and hopefully I'll get to talk to you soon. Thanks, Steve. Uh, Steve Torrance, driver of the Capco, top fuel dragster and winner at the New England Dragway this past weekend. And when you win a national event, you probably got a little bit uh, uh, of, of money in your pocket. You may need a brand new wallet. <laughs> well, allow me to introduce the Ridge. It's the last wallet you'll ever buy. And it comes in titanium, carbon fiber, aluminum, polycarbonate, and over a dozen different styles and colors. Get 10% off with free shipping worldwide by going to RidgeWallet.com. That's RidgeWallet.com and use the promo code RACING. Ditch your bulky wallet today and get the Ridge at RidgeWallet.com. Funny old Nitro Funny Car guy, Bob Gilbertson. I don't know if you saw my Facebook, but he posted on there, how much money will that hold? And I said, Bob, you might need an extra large edition. He he uh, <laughs> re-commented on there. Oh, I don't know. I Maybe not. I'm thinking he does. But anyways, that was I thought that was a funny comment. And, and just perfect. There you go. For the Ridge. Uh, when we return, we'll have more of the show coming up. Right now at O'Reilly Auto Parts, pick up a bottle of Seafoam Fuel Additive on sale for $6.99. Plus, earn double O rewards points. Adding Seafoam to your oil or gas will help smooth out a rough idle, restore lost power, and improve fuel economy. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. O, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Join MRN as we travel through the life of NASCAR's most popular driver, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. comes back to the Daytona International Speedway, leading the pack. I won races that I never thought I'd win. From growing up under the Earnhardt name to super speedway wins to Whiskey River, we dive into everything Dale Jr. He's brain man for NASCAR history. You know, we weren't the typical family that got to sit down to dinner together. Tune in to Junior's Journey, available on iTunes for download only on the Motor Racing Network. Change is good. You're either growing together or growing apart. You know, some, some kind of change is always happening. There are plenty of changes in the NASCAR garage in 2018. What isn't changing is NASCAR Today Midday, keeping you up to date. To be able to drive for Roger Penske on the cup side has been something I've always wanted to do. And uh, to bring the 12th car back, I think it's a, it's a pretty big deal. Your midday NASCAR fix is NASCAR Today Midday. Weekdays here on the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR. <laughs> You're staged and ready for another run on the straight line. Brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Here's Doug and Marty. Appreciate you being here on MRN.com this week. It is the straight line. And joining us on the Racing Electronics Hotline right now is our New England Bureau Chief. You may know him from <laughs> such shows as NASCAR Coast to Coast here on MRN.com. Kyle Ricky joins us. Kyle, uh, has your hearing adjusted any uh, from uh, your, your weekend stay at New England Dragway? No, I can still hear it. I can still <laughs> feel the fuel cars taking off, and I can still smell the nitro. It was a fantastic weekend. You know, uh, you've been down here for sellouts at ZMAX Dragway, and, and obviously uh, two different facilities, but rarely do we see two sellouts in a row. That's exactly what you had up there in New England this weekend. How, what was that atmosphere like? It was amazing. Um, you know, to, to hear the Saturday sellout uh, just before, I guess we we're midway through the, the uh, third qualifying session on Saturday um, was pretty awesome uh, because I had I knew that the event last year on Sunday was, was a sellout. Um, but didn't think we'd get it two days in a row, and we did. The weather was perfect. It was hot and sticky and nasty on Friday. <laughs> we had a cold front or a cooler front come through. Yeah. Made for a great couple of race days on Saturday and Sunday, and just a great atmosphere, uh, a great crowd, and everybody seemed like that uh, they were enjoying themselves, and, and how could you not? Yeah, exactly. How was it getting around that place? Uh, I mean, if every shot that I saw on Fox Sports 1 – uh, this weekend uh, when they would go down to the pits or they would uh, uh, show something in the parking lot, it was shoulder to shoulder. I mean, if, uh, getting around there had to have been like uh, trying to get around in a maze. 
It, it, it was. I mean, you, you alluded earlier to, to Charlotte and, and Vegas, and, you know, obviously New England Dragway does not have the, the real estate that some of the bigger properties that the tour goes to that they have the luxury of having. But uh, it was still – we still had room to breathe. Yeah. Um, it, but, if, I mean, if you wanted to, to go out and get lunch or something – you probably had to wait for for the the pros to get out on the racetrack to do so unless you wanted to wait for 10 or 15 or 20 minutes but um yeah i mean again a great atmosphere a lot of people uh able to watch what these teams do 24 weekends a year and that's you know put these cars back together in between rounds and you know obviously more times than not the drivers were on the ropes greeting the new england race fans over the weekend which is is always nice to see yeah you mentioned the drivers uh you've uh, met and and interviewed quite a few of them i who were some of your favorites and what were they saying during the weekend all of them (laughs) Um, i mean seriously they're just the nicest people we talked about it before just some of the nicest guys in motorsports um Clay Milliken. I mean, we had him in studio a couple of years ago uh, when I was at the Motor Racing Network full time in Concord. Just the nicest guy in the world. I haven't seen him in two years, and so I wanted to interview Clay this week about an incredible year he's been having in Top Fuel. And I walked in, and you know, the, the NHRA PR staff introduced me, and he said, "Oh, I know Kyle. We go way back." <laughs> um, but, but you know, I talked to him about this incredible season and how it compared to last year and he said nothing will compare to his first win on father's day weekend at home at bristol he said i could win the championship this year and it wouldn't compare to that just a lot of great conversations erica enders we chatted about her rivalry with tanner gray that's been ongoing uh here in 2018 uh talk with courtney force a little bit about everything about you know trying to, to about her season and it's been a great season yeah trying to rebuild her sister's confidence because Brittany hasn't had the best of top fuel years talked about her fear of sharks so i mean we were just across the board <laughs> a lot of great personalities in the garage or in the pits as yeah. they call it there in uh in the nhra yeah, and uh, even though it was hot, you mentioned the uh, Friday, and it was a little bit tricky to get down. Uh, even on Saturday and Sunday, track temperatures upward of 135 degrees, but the racing was still good. Yeah, I mean, uh, every every once in a while, one of the fuel cars would uh, you know pull up the tires, and and that's pretty typical. But I was really shocked at the level of competition all weekend because it was hot, and they were still getting down the racetrack in all three of the professional classes and i think everybody was surprised on saturday uh, expecting to see less you know less of the 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 tire smoke um you know during q3 and q4 you know we expected it in the hot slick racetrack on friday and uh but the temperature stayed consistent the, the course of the weekend and and the guys that and girls that were good on friday uh for the most part were good um on sunday uh during like you mentioned the temperatures never really went down about 135 140 degrees all weekend the humidity level was down and i think a lot of teams were caught off guard thinking that that might change things a bit which it really didn't you mentioned the great racing we had the closest race of the year on on sunday between Brittany force and mike salinas came down to one ten thousandth of a second they had to go four decimal uh, spaces out to figure out the winner of that. And I think that came down to like an inch and a half between those two drivers. But at the end, you know, Steve Torrance picked up the top fuel win. Hagen was the class of the weekend from start to finish yep. in uh, in Funny Car. Chris McGahey, the happiest guy on property oh. on on Sunday with that pro stock win after a second week in a row, Erica had trouble with the light. Uh, late two weeks ago and early this past Sunday. Yeah, and, and me and Doug just talked about it. Um, it, it probably it, not only was he the happiest guy, but he was the most surprised guy because, and quite honestly, and, and he admitted to it, they were pretty much junk. They, they were ready to take the trailer and just leave New England, and all of a sudden, at the end of the day, he's holding the wally. I mean, sometimes when it's your day, it's your day. Yeah, and then round two, I guess it was the semis uh, with, with Kenny Delco. Yeah. Um, yeah. One on a hole shot, and I believe one at 49 
miles per hour won yeah. the races. Uh, they both smoked the tires, and um, I mean, it was just his day, and that's what he said in the media center post race. You know, he knew he probably wasn't going to beat Erica straight up, yeah. um, but a mistake by Erica at the line—a very rare mistake yeah. in red lighting. Uh, he was able to capitalize on it and, and get the win. Kyle, we'll wrap it up with this. Uh, and NASCAR has pulled one of its dates uh, from uh, uh, New uh, from uh, New Hampshire Motor Speedway uh, up there, and now just one big, huge event um, from the NASCAR side. Uh, do you think that now the, the the racing fans up in New England are, are kind of looking more towards this date now that there's only one NASCAR, what major touring um, NASCAR date up there now? Yeah, I think it, it's definitely catching on. You know, I think the big motorsports event in July now um, here in New England is the New England Nationals at New England Dragway. Yeah. And, and, you know, you, you mentioned the sellout on, on Saturday and you mentioned the sellout on Sunday. There was a pretty darn good crowd there on Friday as well. I mean, it wasn't a sellout, but it was still probably 70 to 80 percent full and still a lot of bodies on that uh, that hill yeah. over on the, the, the left side of the track um, that, that people have been partying on for, for decades, from what <laughs> I understand. Yeah. That was pretty full on Friday as well. So, yeah, I think a lot of folks are, are, are taking note of this weekend and note of this style of racing and the personalities involved and have obviously taken a liking to it in the first six years of the event. NASCAR Coast to Coast co-host Kyle Ricky joining us here on the Straight Line. Kyle, thanks for your time. We really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you soon. I look forward to it. Thanks for having me. Kyle Ricky joining us on the Straight Line. More of the program coming up. Things happen fast in racing, and if you don't know where to look, you can miss it all. With Legend from Racing Electronics, you'll never miss another moment. Legend gives you live fan vision video, in-car cameras, and stats at premier national series events, and the next generation race scanner for unfiltered driver and crew audio at any motorsports event nationwide. Race fans have never been closer to the action. Welcome to the future of the fan experience. Learn more by visiting racingelectronics.com. Citywide to countryside, whatever you drive, wherever you go. Hercules Tires has the value, selection, and industry-leading warranty to get you there, no matter where the road takes you. To learn more, visit HerculesTire.com. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. When your battery goes dead, everything can come to a stop. Don't take a chance on getting stranded. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts and get your battery tested free of charge. If your battery does need to be replaced, O'Reilly Auto Parts can help you find the exact superstar battery that fits your car or truck at a guaranteed low price. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. You're listening to The Straight Line, brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Now, back to Marty Huff and Doug Herbert. Big thanks to Steve Torrance and Kyle Ricky for joining us here on The Straight Line. And all of our guests come to you via the Racing Electronics Hotline and Racing Electronics provides the best communication equipment and technology to professional teams and drivers and the same technology that is available in their products they offer to race fans. Visit racingelectronics.com to learn more. And they and really do have some neat stuff. We uh, we talked about last week. I got to go to Daytona last week, so I had my racing electronic headset on, yeah. listening to uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And I mean, he got a bad rap a little bit last week, and but those all those crashes weren't all his fault. I'm yeah. telling you, even uh, Keselowski said, "No, no, I checked up, and he had nowhere to go." I don't blame him for that. I know the other ones we, we're not sure about, but <laughs> <laughs> at any rate, had a great time uh, at the NASCAR race, and like I said, got to use my racing electronic headset and had a great time down there. Yeah, and uh, obviously uh, you were there for a reason. And tell us why. Tell us what on went. Yeah, so uh, we won that the contest Fifth Third Bank, uh, and then they ran on the on the back decklet of that Roush. Fenway Roush Mustang or Mustang uh, of Ricky Stenhouse are put on the brakes logo, so brakes got a little bit of extra exposure and and got to uh, you know get some of our charity uh, supporters 
uh, some exposure out there at yep. the uh, NASCAR race last weekend at Daytona. Yep. So it was really fun, and we had a great time too. Yeah, and uh, got to wander around the pits down in, uh, in Daytona. And, uh, and man, I saw you on social everywhere. I mean, people were going, "Hey, look, it's Doug Herbert. What's Doug Herbert That's doing fun. here?" Yeah, 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 just walking down stuff. the row, and people are like, "Hey, I probably saw ten crew, former crew guys of mine that work on NASCAR teams now." <laughs> yeah. It's like, "Hey, what are you doing over here?" Oh boy, this is like a break, you know, a vacation <laughs> compared to working for you. Like, well, wow. it's not that bad. Wow. But anyway, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Uh, spent a little time with Bobby Allison. Saw him and got to walk nice. around, and talk with him a little bit. And uh, just had a great time. Mimi, obviously, she's got you know a lot of connections with down there with uh, yeah, you, you know think. her past history and, and NASCAR stuff uh, with her dad and all. And just just had a fun time. Yeah, yeah, just had a really fun time. Got to get introduced at the drivers' meeting. Was was nice. fun. And yeah, just it was just a great time. And uh, right now, let's uh, go to our segment that. Uh, uh, that is sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts every week. It's called Red Light, Green Light. Definitely a red light this week. Unfortunately, back on Sunday, uh, Don Schumacher Racing announced that the Army sponsorship that has been on Tony Schumacher's Top Fuel Dragster for many, many years, almost two decades as a matter of fact, yeah. will be going away at the end of the season. That's really bad, obviously, for, for Don Schumacher Racing, for the sport in general. Yeah. I, I mean, I will not be able to look at whatever whatever Tony Schumacher's driving next year, you know, whatever sponsorship comes his way, and I'm sure that there's plenty of sponsorship available to him. But when I think of Tony Schumacher, I think of the Army. And, right. uh, you know, I mean, that will be just weird to, to see him in something – other than army colors right i mean he came out with the x-side uh top fuel car back in 90 i don't know 98 or 99 something like that and then wasn't long after that that they came out with the army right. thing and and it was really part of a big program for the army recruiting uh you know to get drag racing fans interested in you know getting involved with the army or you know young teenagers and mm -hmm. and so forth and i think they had a great program and, it, and it, obviously it ran for almost 20 years it, it couldn't yeah. have been too bad but really Definitely a red light to see yeah. the Army go away from NHRA drag racing. And, you know, I'm sure they're just changing their program around. But it is, it's, uh, yeah, like I said, it's not just bad for Schumacher, it's, Don Schumacher Racing or Tony. It's kind of the whole sport in general. That's yeah. kind of a gap. So I'm sure that they'll bounce back with something good. Yeah. And, um, and I, I, knowing Don Schumacher Racing, they will bounce back and they'll have something. Uh, but it's um, it, it kind of takes me back to, uh, when John Force uh, had, the, Castrol, the, yeah. had, had the Castrol thing go away, when the Bernsteins lost Budweiser, just to see them in something different, it, it just it, it's it's hard on the eyeball sometimes. Right. I mean, you, you, you get used to it, but uh, it, it'll be weird to see Tony Schumacher climb into something other than... Right. Well, uh, his nickname uh, Sarge. I mean, like, what do they do with that? Yeah. All of a sudden, he's going to be, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know, Michelin Man or something. I don't know what <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah. Like, you just can't change that. So, anyway, best of luck to those guys for getting that replaced. I'm sure they will. Now, uh, next week, uh, we'll be heading into uh, the first of the Western Swing in Bandemir, and we're going to talk to some crew chiefs next week uh, to talk about how they tune for Up on the Mountain. It's our annual uh, crew chief show, and you want to be here for that because that's always a, a good informational show. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate uh, Steve Torrance and Kyle Ricky joining us. For Doug, I'm Marty. We will talk to you next week here on The Straight Line.